about a state trooper's killed while helping a driver on the side of the road earlier this morning. Our Faven K is live at Metro headquarters where we are awaiting more details from a press conference. But Faven, what are you learning there? Yeah, good morning, Jason and Alyssa. Unfortunately, we are waiting for that press briefing to begin to get more details about those two troopers who were killed in that early morning crash on the I-15. Not much has been released, obviously, all morning. I know that you all have been reading the condolences that are pouring in from state officials and local officials uh, giving their condolences. We've seen several uh, troopers here at Metro headquarters along with officers. Uh, DA Wilson was here earlier unclear if he was here in connection to this case or not, uh, but we did see him. He has now since left. But again, uh, we are all here awaiting news about what led to the tragic death of these two troopers earlier this morning. I know uh, we, we mentioned the last time we were here was when office when trooper Michael May was killed back in 2021. Uh, one of the troopers that I spoke with off camera this morning said that uh, it seems like they're getting a little too used to these processions, that they've become a little too accustomed these days to reporting on these officer deaths. Uh, he said they went 10 years without a single trooper passing within the department. And here we are uh, in 2020. Sergeant Jenkins was killed up, up in Ely. And uh, then we had Micah May killed back in 2021. So it's been a very tumultuous time for the department. And here they are again, getting ready to consult not just each other, uh, but these officers' families. We were told that this press briefing was going to begin about an hour ago, but as you can imagine, this is a fluid situation. It's a lot of moving parts and, uh, you know, a lot of heavy hearts here at headquarters. So we're waiting patiently. We understand that this is a process and uh, we're just going to wait and see to get that more information, guys. Yeah, we look forward to, to hearing w what exactly happened. Uh, so much is still left a mystery. Right. Yeah. And, and you know, you spotted the district attorney, Steve Wolfson, there. Of course, our first thought was, oh, please let that mean that they have a, a suspect, somebody to to bring charges to for the deaths of these two uh, state troopers mm -hmm. who were killed in the line of duty just before the holidays, who yeah. won't be returning to their families. So, yeah, there's a, a lot to learn in, in terms of what exactly happened on the side of the road there this morning. Yeah, yeah, I know for sure. And also, also um, the vehicle that was pulled over for some reason that it looks like they were assisting, um, you know, the, the history of that person, where that person is, what's right. involved with, with that and person. And how they're doing. And how they're doing. So a lot of, lot of uh, questions need to be answered. Right.